Well, let's do Hump Day on the Fun Astrology Podcast. Thomas Miller, thank you so much for joining us. You know, I've taken so much of your time the last couple of days. We're going to keep this to a mini version because I'm also saving vocal assets to try to finish up Ray's 2024 forecast book. Been a bit of a stretch on the old vocal cords because we're trying to get it done and in the can so that you can have it next week. But boy, is it worth it. It's an amazing look at all of the outer planet movement going 2032 and beyond, really. It's just a phenomenal essay on everything that's getting ready to happen in the sky. Can't wait to sit down and talk with him about it more. You know, if you have a question, if you've been looking at the mundane, you've been looking out over the next couple of years, and you have a question you'd like me to run by, Ray, stick it on the SpeakPipe message system on the funastrology.com website, or you can put it in the little chat box down in the lower right, and I'll see if I can't get it in there. Okay, we've been looking a little bit more ahead we have one that's happening right now as this is being released. 4.30 Eastern Time, Venus is home in Libra. And oh, I'm telling you, that should lighten up our load a little bit. And then Friday morning, really early, so tomorrow is the last day of it, Mercury leaves Scorpio, bye-bye, and goes into Sagittarius. And I know you ancient astrologers, you Hellenistic folks are saying, yeah, but it's in fall. Well, I've lived with it all my life because that's where mine is. In fact, it's right at the door. I am minus zero degrees. So hello, Mercury return. Now, a couple of things setting that up because over the next two days, Mercury is going to be at 28, 29 degrees Scorpio. So there could be some extra tension around this transition from Scorpio to Sagittarius. You remember a couple of months ago when Pluto was sitting right on zero degrees Aquarius? And a planet would change signs, and we were saying any time a planet changes signs, there is an aspect to Pluto right there. Well, that hasn't changed. It just moved back a few degrees, because now Pluto is at 28 degrees Capricorn. So tonight at 7.15 Eastern, Mercury will be at 28 degrees Scorpio. So that's a sextile to Pluto. And then just to say tomorrow... Mercury will be at that anoretic degree of 29. So there is the shadow side of this is the caution that words could become, let's say, Pluto even fatal in a communication sense. Don't blow up a relationship that took years to build. Don't risk a friendship over a reaction. Just, just hang it up. Just put it away. Give Mercury a couple of days in Sagittarius and just let it slide. Just forget it. It's not that important. That's the shadow side. Where can we use it positively? If you have a loving, transformational message that you have wanted to communicate, now would be a great time to do it in love, in gentle honor of the other person and their journey, from wisdom of your experience having been through the same, not as an I told you so or do as I say, not as I do, but in a, hey, let me tell you how that worked out for me and maybe give you something to think about. Really gentle. Remember, Mars is still back up there in Scorpio. Don't risk the conflict. But I'm just saying, if you have a wonderful, loving message, wow, what a great window. That will be all day today and then into tomorrow if you need to think about it overnight. But that's a great little window of opportunity there if you wanted to take that. All right, we talked about Venus going home to Libra. Well, the moon is going to be moving in tomorrow morning at 3.07. So there's that early Luna Venus combination in Libra. Can you just feel the calm? <laughs> hopefully you can, and hopefully it will be. I'm hoping. All right, so that we'll talk about more of that tomorrow, but that is coming, so we're moving in that direction today. The void, of course, doesn't start until about midnight Eastern, so not going to affect your day too much there. Have a great one. I'll see you back tomorrow. Thanks for letting me just keep it short today. I love you. Bye-bye.